Okay, landed in Dubai a few hours ago, straight down to Burnish Gym, session with Tom. Gonna be hitting the upper body, gonna be doing two working sets for every movement. One top set, one back off, pretty low volume because we're fitting eight exercises in. Uh, so yeah, see how we get on. So, with this movement, what you'll find both of us doing is a slight lateral flexion when we're bringing the, uh, we're bringing the handle close to us. Mostly going to be hitting the lat with this movement. Second pull movement is going to be a more um, horizontal row rather than a more vertical row. What you'll notice, if it's only two back movements in a session, always pick one vertical, one horizontal. It'll hit the back nice and even. One tip when you're doing two working sets in each session, depending on how much time you've got. A lot of people like to start with their top set or their heavier set first. If you're short on time, you want to still follow the same structure. Normally, you go in with like maybe one warm up set, one build up set. Obviously, warm up, ready in the body for the exercise you're about to do. Build up, gauging the weight that you're going to do for your top set. What you'll find is that, that gauging set is probably not too far off your back off set in weight. So if you're a little bit more experienced or you're a little bit warmer into your session, maybe three exercises in, four exercises in, what you can look at is swapping your top set round with your back off set, hitting one warm up set, hitting your back off set first and emptying the tank on that back off set. Let's say it might be a set of 12 to 14, making sure that you haven't got a weight in your hand that you can do 15 with and then moving on to your top set. It's gonna save you one set across a six exercise session. That's a big chunk of time. Probably not gonna affect your um, things negatively at all. In terms of benefit, probably looking, recovery is gonna be better because less effect on uh, the central nervous system. You know, not taking the body uh, to that higher level over so many sets. Um, and we can only train as hard as we can recover. 
So if you focus on our recovery capabilities and that's something that we think about while we train, then you're gonna maximize your training capabilities as well. Yes. <clears throat> Come on. So we're moving on to the two chest movements part of our session. Um, we're going to hit a 45 degree cable fly first, a couple of reasons. First one being most optimal way to stimulate a muscle is to move the load in the same direction in which the muscle fibers run. So if we think about where muscles attach, how the, how the pec fibers of the chest run, they all attach under here at the front delt. So as we take the arm away from the body in layman's terms, the load is gonna move in the same direction in which the muscle fibers run. That's why when people say they can feel things well, you think about a bicep curl and you think about the way the bicep runs and we move the load in the same direction. Same with the leg extension. You move the leg in the same direction or the muscle fibers run in the same direction in which the load moves. So when you start in your chest sessions or your push sessions or something like that, and you know you're gonna be going into a heavy press and you want the chest to be working as optimally, optimally as it can. The pathway of the load is following the direction which the muscle fibers run. It's gonna get the chest fired up and working exactly the way you want it to. But what happens in the press, as quick as you can in the session. Going off what I said before about getting the shoulder fixed into a certain position so the, so the back tissue and the shoulder tissue isn't bearing load. Obviously one of the other main things about that is most people watching this video will have incurred a shoulder injury at some point in the gym. Pretty much the key thing that's going to protect it. So as you're hitting, as you're going back and hitting the bench, if the shoulders are out, what you do keep the load close to you so it's safe and it's not out there, and just walk your shoulders in as if you've just stepped them into the middle. And then that finished position should be similar to how you would do like a, a seated cable row with a V grip. So then you can press up, start safe, shoulders are pinned back, wriggle them out a little bit if you need to. So they're in a nice starting position, they're fixed. And then you're safe to start the movement. And as you start the movement, you know that it's the pec gonna be lengthening. And if the pec lengthens first, then the pec is taking the load. Come on, go, come on. Go, 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 go. What you'll notice about that one is that being a top set, as the set got harder, you can see that I resisted the urge to bring the shoulder out, to bring other tissues into play, to help the movement. You, you, you've moved from stimulating the muscle tissue to moving the, moving the load or the bar or the cable from A to B. You're moving away from the main ingredients of what is bodybuilding. You, you know, we're, we're stimulating the muscle to incur change. If you do that and you're just doing it to get the get the load in the next place, you're no longer stimulating the muscle in the way that you were. You may as well drop the set, go lighter, stimulate the muscle the way you need to, create the result, and that's where it lies. which I spotted there. I was going for maybe a six to eight. I noticed about five, 
that that wasn't going to happen. So really, really, really milk the set, make the most of it. Got to think in the moment, where do we do most of the damage to the muscle? So then the muscle lengthens. So I've got to the top of the fifth, maybe fourth rep, and I've gone, this isn't coming up next time. But what I have got is an opportunity from here to here to cause as much muscle damage as I possibly can to still make the most of the set while I've got the dumbbells in my hand. Don't miss the opportunity, don't miss. Okay, so day one in Dubai, done. Straight off the plane, checked in, straight to Binus Gym. One of, the, one of the reasons we come out here this week, you know, look into the idea of moving, look into kind of what the lifestyle is like, and this place is absolutely unbelievable. It's quite a known fact that environment is absolutely key to success. Um, and obviously, as I want to grow this business, um, as I want uh, my life to develop, this is definitely one of the places that I want to be. So um, I'm glad um, I'm glad that we've jumped straight off the plane and straight into here. Had a class session with Tom, been a while. Um, Tom's moved out here a few months ago now, how many? A year? Yeah, just under a year. Yeah, just under a year. And he's made it a great success so far. So definitely with the way things are at the moment in the UK, new rules coming back in or old rules coming back in, uh, it's definitely something that we're going to be looking to do.